The White House says it's working with Congress in an attempt to avoid a government shutdown. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says President Trump still wants funding to build a border wall, but he's willing to pull some money from other departments to do it. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. If the two sides don't reach a deal by Friday, then a quarter of the federal government will shut down. Today, the White House seemed to express more willingness to compromise with Democrats, but President Trump's priority to build the wall hasn't changed. We need border security. Thank you very much. The president says it's too early to say what will happen with the looming shutdown. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says she's disappointed Congress hasn't passed a funding bill to keep the government open. Now, congressional leaders have been negotiating since the White House indicated earlier in the day that the president does not want a government shutdown over his demand for the $5 billion border wall. We're looking at every avenue available to us possible. The president's asked every one of his cabinet secretaries to look for funding that can be used uh, to protect our borders and for the give the president the ability to fulfill his constitutional obligation to protect the American people by having a secure border. So we're looking at the other Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer responded to the White House press secretary. He says no other parts of government, no other departments can fund the wall without congressional approval. And Schumer says that approval isn't coming, plain and simple. Why? Mark, is any progress being made over funding negotiations on Capitol Hill? Well, Senator Schumer says the latest proposal coming from Republican leadership would not pass either the House or Senate, but Majority Leader Mitch McConnell believes they will agree on something. He says today he's convinced there will not be a shutdown. Stay tuned, Wyatt. All right, will do. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.